Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Craft and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to show you guys some new things that I got from a cherry on top and I did pre-order these. I will have them all linked down below, but um, they might be going a little faster now. I just did a pre-order, so I don't know how fast things are selling out anymore, but I will have everything linked down below except for like the single sheets, but I'll have the collection kits uh, linked for you guys and whatever else I show. But I picked up a few collections. So one of them is Baking Spirits Bright by Simple Stories. One of them is Mittens and Mistletoe by Crate Paper. Um, one is the Simple Vintage October 31st by Simple Stories. And I think that's it. Um, so I'm going to go through these, all of them. And I'm going to show you guys what they all look like in detail, what papers you get and everything. So let's get started. All right, so here's the first one I'm gonna show you guys. It is called the Mittens and Mistletoe. So I picked up the Ephemera for this collection and it looks like this. Let me zoom in a little. So it looks like there's some smaller ones, but it's mostly like little like journaling card pieces that you could add in, some labels and things like that. And not too many just like images to decorate, but more so like journaling elements and tags and things. So that's the Ephemera. Then, um, oh, there's two ephemeras, so that's one of the ephemeras. They're both called ephemera. And then the other one looks like this. This one has some foil pieces in here, and this is the one with a bunch of images, as you guys could see from the back. All is bright, wonder, warm wishes, peace, and so on. And some floor elements. I love those, and the little bird. All very, very cute. Um, then I got the 12 by 12 paper pad. So let's open this up and I'll show you guys. And I also got the chipboard as well, which I will show you guys once we get through the paper pad. If you guys hear my dog crying in the background, it's because we just adopted a puppy exactly a week ago from today. I haven't crafted much, but between our AC being broken, it's just been too hot to craft. And then now we got a puppy um, just a week ago, but if you hear her crying, it's because I have her in the crate right now. We're trying to crate train. Um, last night was the first night that we tried to put her in a crate to go to bed, and I, we couldn't do it. Like, she just would not stop crying and chewing on the, on the crate, and I didn't want her to hurt her teeth. So I'm trying, like, 10 minutes every couple of hours um, to put her in there with a treat and get her used to it. So we'll see, but she is crying right now. Um... So anyway, mittens and mistletoe. Here is the first page. You've got the cut aparts. These are so cute. I love the colors. You've got pinks, blues, and greens. Not a fan of the blues, but I think they do look nice with the collection. Um, and you've got a couple of cut aparts. So it looks like you only get three or four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five cut aparts that have like the full like sentiments and a couple of journaling pieces and things. You've got some polka dots here, um, some florals, this plaid design. This is a nice one. I like that there's like a, like a pattern in built into it. Christmas trees, the chevron with some snowflakes or like stars maybe. I like that. I like these like um, more simple patterns that you could add to whatever. I like this plaid also. You've got this snowflake. You've got this one with just like a bunch of elements here. Ooh, look at this one. Ooh, I even like this at the top. Maybe that's the next page. Ooh, it is. Um, so this is a chevron and then this is nice too. You could cut these out and use these as little embellishments throughout. Those are really cute. Why is this ripped? What is in the world? Where did this come from? I don't know. It doesn't even have like a hole in the center. So I don't even know. Maybe it's just like an extra thing. Um, it looks like the strip from up here, but it just doesn't have a hole in it. Anyway, you've got these polka dots and these stars. So pretty. Um, this green stripes. Oh, I love this page. The florals with the um acorns and i forgot what those things are called oh my gosh she's scratching the crate now 
I don't know if I could do this for 10 minutes. It's only been four. Um, here I have this design here. This pattern that kind of looks like a sweater. Wood grain. Postage stamps. Um, oh, this is nice, but it's just like a lined, I mean, I don't have to use it like for the full sheet, but it is just like a lined page with a little Santa in the corner. So if I wanted to use this as like a little piece, I could put it on the back of a tag or something. Um, that's one way to use it. Here's this one. Some greenery. Oh my gosh, she's crying. It's melting my heart. These presents. Um, you've got like these little cabins and trailers. You've got this pattern. And I think we repeat. Yeah, we do. Okay, so you get 24 sheets, two of each design. And then um, I also got the chipboard, which it looks like this. So some of them are bigger, like this flower up here. But then you also have some smaller ones here. I like this joy. Um, I like the ones with words, peace on earth, my Christmas wish, Merry Merry. I like those. Those are cute. And you could also use them as ephemera. So if you don't want to have the bulkiness of the chipboard, just peel back as many layers of the chipboard as you can. And you could just use it as like a embellishment. So that's that. So that is mittens and mistletoe. I'm going to move on to, um, let's do baking spirits bright. All right, so here is Baking Spirits Bright. I'm going to put all of the single sheets aside because I'm going to show you guys in the collection kit. But I did get some extra sheets and things like that. I like to do that with new collections and I don't know why. I mean, oftentimes I do go through them, so that's good. Um, okay, so 6 by 8 paper pad first. They tend to be sometimes a little bit different from the 12 by 12s or like tw from the collection kits. So I do want to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so, and again, I'm gonna have everything linked down below for you guys. Also, one thing to note, um, when you buy from a cherry on top, I do have a referral ID, so if it is your first time purchasing from there, make sure when you sign up, you also add in my referral ID and you're gonna get $5, which is equivalent to the 1,000 points that you get. So you're gonna get 1,000 points and then you could use that $5 towards your next purchase. So you could have $5 off and you could build up those points. So um, you could build up points by just shopping on there. Sometimes there's free like cherry points on their website. I do also get $5 when you guys use my referral ID, but so do you. So I do also get the $5 where I could spend it and show you guys new products like I'm doing today. Um, and you could only use up to $20 at a time. So if you have $5, add it on to like a purchase or whatever. Like, so you have $5 off for your next purchase, but I like to just do it whenever. I don't wait completely for the $20. I just, you know, um, I mean, depends. I don't shop as much as I used to, but Anyway, all right, I'm going on a ramble here. So Baking Spirits Bright, the six by eight, it starts off by saying Baking Christmas Cheer. Oh, we've got the backside also, so I'm gonna flip it afterwards. Um, we've got the gingerbread, polka dots. You've got this, it says it's beginning to taste a lot like Christmas, that is cute. These little trees. We whisk you a Merry Christmas. How cute would that be on like a card? So cute. You've got these little candies, pies and cakes and desserts, gingerbread kisses and Christmas wishes. I love that. That would be a cute card also. Or just like a front cover of an album. You've got these little houses. Four by four, nope, these are not four by four. Three by four cut aparts. Hello, dear. Gingerbread kisses, so sweet. Peace, love, joy. More cut aparts. Joy, snow, fun, and two of these um, frame images, which I don't love. Like, what would I do with that? Do I need that? <laughs> Maybe more likely this one, not really that one. Even though I think it's supposed to be Mrs. Santa Claus. All right, so then it repeats. So I'm going to go backwards now and just flip it for you guys. Actually, you know what? I'm going to flip it this way. Um, so I'm showing you guys this way. Still going the same way. So you got these stars. 
these stars. Oh, there's Hazel. Um, these polka dots. Gingerbread. Oh, wait, I am, I'm upside down. Okay, so this is the way I gotta go. Gingerbread. These stars and polka dots mixed together. Stripes. This plaid design. And it's like a peachy pink. It's not completely pink pink. Um, this plaid. Or is this... I don't even know. Um, check? No. I don't know. Some kind of checks, plaids, whatever. Um, then these like squares. Mistletoe or holly. I, I never know the difference. These stripes. Um, like a mixer and some baking tools. Oh gosh, she's ripping something up. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so that was the 6x8 paper pad. Let me show you guys the collection kit. Alright, so the collection kit. Actually, let me zoom out a little bit so you guys could see the whole thing. Um, so this is one of the pages. These cute little gingerbread on the back side is the stripes we've seen these in the six by eight these polka dots and obviously everything is just bigger in the 12 by 12 with the mistletoe or holly berry whatever it is the christmas trees with these stripes you've got these stars and the green polka dots or i guess green background with white polka dots these candies with the red square pattern on the back You've got all the desserts with that peachy pink, um, I don't know, check pattern, plaid, whatever. Um, these like little houses and cabin looking things and a post office and snowmen with this one on the back. Oh, this one comes with some tags. Oh, I like these. We whisk you a Merry Christmas. We whisk you a Merry Christmas. Ba baking Christmas cheer. May your days be merry and bright. Love you so much. Baked with love, peace, peace, hope, and cookies. I love having tags. And they do have the writing space on the back, so they are perfect. All you got to do is punch out that hole, add an eyelet, and some seam binding or whatever, and they're so cute. Then you also get these. These are also not in the 6x8. Um, so you get all of these like extra like journal cards, baking memories, grandma's recipe, which I don't really know how much you would actually fit on there, but um, it's still cute. I mean, maybe you want to do like grandma's recipe with like a photo of you guys making it and then behind that have the recipe in like an album or something. Um, you've got this. You've got these three by four cut apart to bake some memories. It's beginning to taste a lot like Christmas. Cookies for Santa, and this these stars on the back. Then you've got these cut apart. So up here you've got four by fours, I think. And these look like maybe one and a half by one and a half, and maybe another four by four. Um, does that make sense? Eight and no, these are two by twos. Um, okay, but these are cute also. These are also not in the um, six by eight paper pad. The back side has these gingerbread. And then you've got these larger cut aparts. Um, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Very merry, baking spirits bright, baking faves. I like how they included two vertical ones, two horizontal, and then like an image and like a journal card kind of thing. Those are cute. Um, I, I would have preferred all like words. I would like even just maybe four of the horizontal would be good and two of those. I definitely use these a lot less, the vertical, but I do like having the option um and then there's this one and then the sticker sheet looks like this so we got gingerbread kisses peace hope and joy peace loving cookies oh i love all the i love when they include all the words simple stories does that and i love it um and then these images are not too big either so they're great for and uh, to use as embellishments all right i'm gonna go let her out now and i'm gonna continue filming as soon as i'm done doing that been about a little less than 10 minutes my goodness I don't know how to crate train her 
I don't know. All right, moving on to the Simple Vintage October 31st. Here is the six by eight. I do also have the collection kit to share with you guys, um, but here we go. So, so they do actually have another collection that kind of looks similar. I'm not entirely sure if it's similar, similar. Um, it's called Simple Vintage Halloween, whereas this one is called Simple Vintage October 31st. I think they look similar, um, but I don't know because I don't have the whole collection kit. I only have some pages from it. Um, but anyway, so the first page of here, you says Happy Halloween. Then you've got these bats. They're both like vintagey looking though. And you can see like, um, there's like a newspaper background in here, some oranges and blacks. I'm not giving her attention. In fact, she wants me. She's like jumping on me. Um, <laughs> haven't filmed since I, we got her. So first time filming with her. Um, so this is like a little housey and some bats. Then I don't even know what this is. What image is this? Are those like people with pumpkin heads? What is happening here? Then we have, okay, I showed you guys that. Then it says, hello, October. Hazel. Oh my gosh, she just wants to buy everything. You've got these buffalo check pattern. Okay, hold on, she's about to eat my glue. Hazel, what are you doing? Why are you on my desk? Why are you on my desk? Why are we on my desk? You wanna say hi to everybody? Look, say hi. Say hi. You guys see her? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said hi all right hazel can we like she just wants to be in my arms oh i showed you this all right wicked good times and this is cute because you could use this part as a cut apart if you wanted to you could cut out and fussy cut around here and use that as a pocket i do love when they do that and then you've got this one not a fan of these i, th I think they're people wearing pumpkin heads i really do um, you've got like these vintagey images with, I don't know, cats, pumpkins, something. Three by four cut aparts. Um, 31st, trick or treat. Cut aparts always come in handy. I could never complain about cut aparts. And these cut aparts as well. And then it repeats. So I'm going to flip you guys over and show you guys the back sides. So here you've got like this newspaper on like an orange background. Um, stripes, buffalo check pattern, these stars in like a orangey, gray, uh, mustardy yellow, these witches on brooms or with their broomsticks. Yes, Hazel, hi. Um, you've got these spiders. You've got this plaid pattern. I do really like this one. What's on the other side? Oh, I like that one too. The other side is Hello October. So we'll see which one I use. You've got these. Oh gosh, she's biting paper again. This orange background with black polka dots. Spider web. These stars. Um, these polka dots. Um, this spider web pattern with like a gray background. It's a nice neutral pattern. And that is everything. I hate when this happens though with my Simple Stories six by eight paper pads, like they fall apart sometimes. Um, but anyway, that's the six by eight. Let me show you guys the 12 by 12 collection kit now. Sorry about this video guys. I know it's a little all over the place and I keep stopping and everything. Um, the joys of having a new puppy that just stole my slipper. <laughs> Anybody remember these days, these puppy days? But you know what, guys? She's not going to be a puppy forever. And some of the stuff that she does is just so adorable. Um, she's so cute. And she's actually really sweet. It's just a menace sometimes. <laughs> my fiance, called, since we named her Hazel, my fiance, when she's um, doing bad things, is called, calls her a hazelnut. <laughs> oh, so funny. Um, but, you know, they're so loving. All right. Anyway, moving on. Simple Vintage, October 31st. Um, for the 12 by 12 collection kit. So this was in the six by eight. We started off with like this boo. Um, but I think there was um, a phrase here. Was there not? I think there was. That's the first page. Yeah, this one said happy Halloween. This one does not. It just says the boo on the top in a bigger design. Um, but that would be a really cute like tuck spot, like a larger tuck spot um, 
for a larger project. And, or you could just use this back side with the orange background with black polka dots. You've also got these stars and this background, like a newspaper. You've got these like drawn pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns, I guess, and these stars. Then you've got this. This was also in the six by eight. It's like a haunted watercolor house with like, I see a spider web here, some bats. And then the back side has the witches with their brooms. Okay, um, you've got this buffalo pattern here and this. Oh, I just noticed it says like hol like hollow, hollow, Halloween, ho hollow miss. Well, that's cool. She's about to steal something again. <laughs> All right, you've got this. Um, I really, these, these are kind of creepy guys. They're really creeping me out. Um, anyway, then you've got the stripes on the backside. You've got this and these polka dots. I'll probably use these two sides instead of the other side. You've got these bats. And I always could use some more of these. I love these. And these go with anything. Like, they don't just have to be Halloween. Even though I, I do see that this is more like a yellowy background. And the cut apart next to it is more white. I don't know if you guys could tell that difference. Can you guys tell? But anyway, there's that. You've got these journal cards. Oh, there's like a library card here that says borrow, borrower's name with an owl. Um, this little detail thing. I like these journal card elements. Um, those are always fun to use. And the backside. Oh, but I like this too. The spider webs. Three by four cut aparts. Boo to you. Wishing you a happy Halloween. Eat, drink, and be scary and a plaid background. Why would they do that on like the cut aparts that I'm gonna need to use and the prettiest plaid background? Why? I bet you this one's not as, like, oh no, this one's this one's stripes, but still. Um, these are four by four cut aparts. Cutest pumpkin in the patch, hello October, trick or treat, no tricks, just treats. And stripes on the background or on the back side. Four by six cut aparts, creeping it real. Um, so you get three horizontal and three vertical. And this one says, Tis the season to be spooky. And the back side has these spiders. And then you have the sticker sheet, which looks like this. You've got this larger banner here, which you could also use as a tuck spot. Just de stick it or add it to like a cardstock and fussy cut around that. Um, these pieces come out also, so you could actually put in a photo. That's cute. Um, yeah, you could put in like a little photo there and here, and then you could use these other little elements, um, throughout. Um, Fright Night, those are cute. I like these little clipboards, those are adorable. Um, these that you could use as, um... Well, you could use it to layer things, but you could also just kind of make these into a tab. You've got these little ticket stubs and these words down here. Always fun to use. So that is the Simple Vintage October 31st. Um, again, if you have the Simple Vintage Halloween, I feel like they look a little similar. Um, I'm sure there's some differences in them, but I don't really have the whole collection to compare for you guys. And I did get a ton of extras. See? because I love my extras, but why did I only get one of these? Oh no, I got two. Okay, good. And this one is actually not part of this. This is from that Mother Mistletoe collection. But anyway, so um, that is everything, guys, for my A Cherry on Top haul. I'm gonna have this collection linked down below, the Mistle, what is it, Mittens and Mistletoe, 
and Baking Spirits Bright. I'm going to have all those collections like linked down below for you guys, as well as my referral ID for a cherry on top in case you guys are new to them and you're signing up. Um, otherwise, if you're not new, just go ahead and shop. All right, guys, so that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in my next crafty video. Talk to you soon. Bye.